and we actualize. We do not need this mic, but um, we do it for props publicly. How many years have we Oh, we have been around for three years. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, how many? Really cool. It has been a uh, very good accomplishment. It has been great. Hello, everyone. I'm Ronaldo McKenzie, the president of the Neoliberal Corporation, the founder and the president of the Neoliberal Corporation. And with me is. Um, Dante Nelson, guys. Yes. And. <laughs> Today is a very important day. Today is a, is a memorable day. Today is a very, it, today marks um, the day that we started the Neoliberal Corporation. Um, and I have a message for you. This is going to be a very short and um, terse um, uh, um, showing because we're just sharing with you a message that I prepared for you guys. Um, so we're, we're celebrating three years of bold innovation. <laughs> You hear that bold innovation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today, April 21, 2024, marks a significant milestone for the Neoliberal Corporation, the Neoliberal. For three years, we have stood as a beacon of independent grassroots ingenuity, daring to challenge the status quo and pioneer solutions for tomorrow's challenges at the neoliberal we invite you to join us in commemorating this journey of boldness and innovation yes, yes sir. um i don't know if you want to um read the script as well um, at the neoliberal we embody versatility um we are not merely a company we are a multifaceted entity and i call i say a movement encompassing think tank initiatives independent media endeavors, IT solutions, web design innovations, I mean, web, web design innovations, uh, publishing ventures, cutting edge research endeavors, educational initiatives and dynamic content creation. Our mission is clear to serve the world today to solve tomorrow's challenges by making popular what was the monopoly. Now, our comprehensive range of services and solution speaks to our commitment to excellence. And of course, um, Dante, you see some of the services that we offer. Um, you, you didn't realize we were so, we were so large. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have realized and I, and, and I have known, but just as far as the platforms, yeah, you know, it's, it's growing our platforms and we are growing on so many on so many platforms. we are growing on so many fronts and i always and i've of, often said to you that when you start a company fine you don't capital is important financing is important but you cannot stop your dream you cannot kill your dream because you don't have financing because you don't have the capital to do so um there are many there are other ways you can do that because of course people go only people will invest in you when they take you seriously people take it serious people take you seriously when you are constantly bombarding them with your presence over and over and providing cutting edge innovative research <laughs> and information <laughs> and of course with the connections that we have um now um as, as it relates to the services and our solutions here at the neoliberal um it and web design where we partner with ants business solutions and they are at the um, ants business and ants business solutions.com where we deliver state-of-the-art IT and web design solutions tailored to, to your needs. That's just one of the services and the solutions we provide. We provide free news and media services, of course. Um, you can tune into our podcast, the Neoliberal Round podcast on anchor.fm or any stream, any audio or podcast stream. Um, you can go to anchor.fm slash the Neoliberal and then you can find all of our streams where we are available. And you can, you can explore our YouTube channel at the Neoliberal Round by Ronaldo McKenzie. Um, you can go to youtube.com at Ronaldo McKenzie. And of course, we are, and of course, by now, but you are here on YouTube, but we're going to do another take of this as well. 
and this is um sometimes we will we will broadcast from philadelphia where our main offices are sometimes we will broadcast from jersey we have where we have other place offices and in new york um where you see we so we so, so our stu our studio locations is here in philly um long branch new jersey or uh manhattan new york but today we're in philadelphia we started in philadelphia um and of course we also provide public um, a pu we also have publications and magazines we provide several um we have several publications um and so we invite you to dive into the nail ball journals at the nail ball.com slash the nail ball journals um you can go to the nail ball post at renaldo c mckenzie.com slash the dash nail ball dash post that's offline when all mckenzie.com is offline it will be back up soon um that's largely because very of funding soon, very soon, yes <laughs> okay but there is a lot of content on the renaldocmckenzie.com and the neoliberal post so we can't afford to lose that um, um that website we are trying to um we are trying to get it back up and running for you um but we have we you know i guess maybe because we have dipped our foot in so many different things i don't know but um yeah you know you know, you have to hand one test at a time and i think yeah. that's where it's taking place but there's also the nearly board blogs yes so you know you're making a point and i caught you what was the point no you're fine you're fine there's the nearly board blogs um there's a the nearly board blogs um there is at renaldo c mckenzie renaldo c mckenzie dot blogspot dot com and of course there's a the nearly board commentary by our linkedin feed and we actually this this particular message is available in um in, as a post on our linkedin um newsletter feed uh alongside the nail more magazine at the nail .com. so as we illuminate critical issues shaping our world you can dive into any of these journals or publications we've we've provided we have several other magazines and publications you can check us out on um several the academia.edu and research gate but there's also our lectures and educational initiatives join us in exploring caribbean thought caribbean theology globalization what else liberal studies and critical thinking and philosophy um, those are courses and topics and subjects that we uh, we have um, we have uh, been doing some work on we have taught classes provide late classes and provide resources in these areas bring into crucial topics through lectures and educational resources um there's also our books and our essays there's a, and the essays are uh we have a um we have a, a myriad of essays a plethora of essays that we have published through other yes. third party means the jamaica green and the jacobin magazine um there is one that we published in um i mean you need to hear this magazine um and in our own magazines and publications and the, there's the book so engage with us engage with our thought-provoking literature including neoliberalism globalization income inequality poverty and resistance which is book one of the neoliberalism book series as well as neoliberal globalization reconsidered which is book two in the neoliberalism book series which um the manuscript is complete and we are getting ready to publish um you know our books and our essays are available at store.thenealiberal.com we are having problems with our books with the hard and paperback books um, um that's that's one of the major issues we are having is printing and distribution um, we we operate we we distribute our books through a third party service and that is costing us a lot say for example i tell you that we sold Let's say, for example, and this is, this happened on one weekend for about one one week. We sold about five books. Um, you know, each book cost about what fifty dollars or forty dollars. We made five forty seven, five dollars and forty seven. That I mean, we've made more than that um, in terms of the audio book and stuff. But for five, I was looking at the re I was looking at the um, the receipts and the earnings for a particular month, and Ingram Spark sent me a report. Uh, and then they try to justify that. Just no, they try to justify that to say, "Oh, this is the cost, and this is what happened," and pay me a check of five forty-seven. I mean, <laughs> you know, this this podcast is not about that. But what we are doing, we're trying to cut out the middleman. Um, we will release several um, essays shortly. We know how to do that. 
we have the resources how to do that. We are we are academics and we are very smart. We have been in the business for a while. I mean, we're celebrating three years, but we've been in the business for over 10 years. Um, of course, we're only limited by capital and funding, but we know what we know how to cut the middleman. We know how to publish. Um, publishing is not that difficult. With the technology and the tools and the resources we have, publishing, the ability to publish and to develop a media company, it's not that difficult. You have to have time and you have to be willing to, and you have to be well researched and have and connections and so on. It takes money as well over time, but but we are having a problem as it relates to the distribution of the book. The book was reviewed as an erudite analysis. We know that the book is doing well. It's it's highly reviewed. It's a textbook in several places available all over the world. But um, but that's part of the problem that we are having. We're not realizing um, the earnings from our book that is doing that is doing well. Um, and then they create ways to hide the sales of your book. But we are having to deal with that. But um, we are going we are going to address that. Our, our publishers have been to publish that book. We spoke with them. They said that they are going to do their own investigation and they're going to try and help them find out what's going on. So I know what I did. We turned off global distribution to anybody. The hard cover and the paperback is maybe you might have one or two copies available at Amazon or Barnes and Noble. It's best for what they have. Um, but you should not be able to purchase any of the from anywhere else except from us here in the middle of You can message us, you can, uh, you can message me, and I'm not going to put that in the middle of anywhere. Um, you can go to Twitter, Facebook, social media. You can message us here at the middle of the middle of the You can email us at info at the middle of the middle of the But um, that's what we are having to deal with. So what we do is that we have created titles. We, have, we created titles and apply ISBN to those titles so as to protect them. Um, but there's so much we have to do. But so but um, we, that's but that's what's happening now. So nearly bullies in globalization we consider which is book two will be published shortly. Um, it's available. You can start pre-ordering from store. The our store is the store. The um, Additionally, you can discover insightful essays such as police brutality and tyree nichols we did an article on um, the tyree nichols situation it's available in you might need to hear this magazine you know you might need to hear this.com yeah um in terms of some of our other um services and solutions research and studies um we we put, we prize ourselves uh, in in terms of doing well we are embarking on several research studies Coupled with part of my research and our research at various univers at um, at Georgetown University, hoping to begin um, and, and of course transition into Temple University in the coming fall, um, we're doing a uh, so we ask you to embark we're embarking on a journey of discovery with our research endeavors spanning topics such as exploring attitudes towards Afro Caribbean beliefs in Jamaica and the Caribbean. Um, of course, of course, you can visit our research. We have a research gate. Um, you can go to our research gate and you can learn more about the study. You can go to also the nilubo.com and learn more about the study. And you can also, if you are, if you live in the diaspora, you from, you are from Jamaica or the Caribbean, then you can participate in the study. We will expand the study, um, later on, um, to include other individuals, depending on what we are trying to find out and what we are trying to achieve. Um, there's also uh, research studies in income inequality using the Gini coefficient. In fact, nearly all in book one was based on um, um, studying the elasticity um, of income inequality or of income and also looking at poverty and the movement of poverty throughout the Caribbean and or the global south. Book two looks at um, ex uh, mentions the poverty in post-industrial countries. Um, there's also the podcast study that we have done looking at the socio-political landscape of the U.S., exploring support for Trump and Biden among black and brown communities in New York City, Philly, and Chicago, and, um, and other cities. We will be going to other cities to conduct other studies. And of course, that's done by the Nilubo Around podcast. There's also our special projects and initiatives um, from the Castro v. Trump and the Trump v. Biden series, 
to exclusive commentaries and investigative reports. We are dedicated to shedding light on pressing issues and amplifying marginalized voices. There's also our breaking news commentaries and exclusive um, Cash to Read from series, What's Your Story series, What's It Like Living in Philly series, The Crisis Deepens in Haiti, Part 1, 2. There's also the interview with Brian Conkainen of the Institute for Justice and Democracy in Haiti. Um, there's also the Stop the Violence March in Philadelphia on the neoliberal round. That particular um, podcast episode did um, feature Cheryl Parker, who is the mayor now at the time she was she was running when we did that episode, um, or she was about to announce um, that she was running and we interviewed her for about two to three minutes. We also, um, other breaking news commentaries and exclusive includes our homelessness in Philadelphia featuring David Fair, the CEO at Turning Point for Children, and also TP4C ends its core program, its core program, City Plans to Raise, and the City Plans to Raise Core, um, core Case Manager Salaries. That was a breaking news and um, that we got first and that we provided for you guys coverage of the war in Ukraine and, and much more. So, you know, as we reflect on our achievements and just so you know, this is this particular, um, live recording today is, um, is a message. Um, we're, we're sharing with you a message just to reflect on our achievements. And of course, as we do so, we extend our heartiest gratitude to our supporters. Your unwavering dedication fuels our aspirations to grow. Develop and expand our contributions to the advancement and preservation of humanity. We are proud to announce that the Neoliberal Corporation was nominated as an innovative company and awarded the Excellent in Business Awards as the most empowering think tank and publisher for 2023-2024 in Philadelphia by Innovation in Business and AI Global AI, which is Acquisition International Global Media. Of course, our published book, Neoliberalism, and we mentioned it earlier, was reviewed by Kirkos Reviews as an erudite analysis of, uh, of the economic history of Jamaica and the Global South and Global North, and, the and was also the editor's pick for their, edi for their indie special season. Now, the YouTube channel has over 30,000 views, and the podcast is heard in over, is heard in over 30 countries and is nearing 10,000 plays on Spotify and is available in almost on almost any podcast stream. Our research and papers on ResearchGate and Academia.edu are gaining traction, while our social media platforms are growing steadily with over 100,000 impressions and 10,000 followers. Combined on our social media platforms, given our limited budget and meager revenue, we have accomplished a lot. And never, and of course, nevertheless, ir irrespective of of the challenges that some of the challenges we have, our reputational value has quadrupled over the past three years, and our neoliberal brand is slowly becoming a recognizable and household name among our niche markets within small but important pockets. Now we have received hundreds of positive reviews about the impact we are making on people as they access our solutions and information via our plethora of feeds, social media websites, publications and resources. Our growth is unassuming. Our business is not moving as fast as we would like, given our challenges or, or the challenge of, of finding willing investors and um, financing. Regardless, we have several investors who are noticing our efforts and work of empowerment, and some have expressed future interests to invest in the coming weeks. So I invite you to join us on this transformative journey. Subscribe for free and explore our store at store.neoliberal.com. Of course, your support makes our mission possible. Consider backing us on Spotify for podcasters, formerly Anchor.fm, by going to anchor.fm slash the neoliberal slash support, or, then, or donate to us via PayPal, the neoliberal corporation. Together, let us continue to shape a brighter future as we seek to democratize what was once monopolized and serve the global community by propelling progress forward. 
Warm regards from Ronaldo McKenzie. I'm your president and creator of the Nailable Corporation and the Nailable Round and YouTube channel. Please visit us by going to thenailable.com. Email me at info at thenailable.com or ronaldocmckenzie at gmail.com. Please shoot me a, um, call me at 445-260-9198, which is the number here at The Nail Liberal. And just so you know, um, we will be releasing several publications this week. Well, good.